We've all had a week to digest and appreciate the last dance. Denver Wolves head coach Ryan Saunders has a unique view from watching him as a kid to now defining his own leadership style. Good. The game's over. Chicago Stadium is going wild. But what is a lesson that you personally took away from all this? For me, it was that um, you're going you're going to continue to deal with so many different types of personalities and that really meeting the players where they are, um, which is something I've always believed in, but, you know, was definitely re reinforced while watching, you know, Phil uh, Jackson during uh, the Last Dance documentary. But meeting players where they are is, is very important because everybody needs something different. Everybody needs a different type of coaching, a different type of uh, maybe motivation, but then also a different type of care. Remember what we talked about, your breathing, and your centering, and getting yourself focused in the court. You guys know that you got to support yourselves and your teammates. You look at Phil Jackson, and it cannot be overstated, you know, what a, what a coach he is to be able to deal with that mix of personalities. But he does it in a way that um, I think you, you either have it in you or, or you don't. It's hard to try to be, you know, like Phil Jackson. You can try to take things that, that have been successful for him and maybe try to implement them in your own way. But um, I think he just had such a, you know, Zen way of doing things that it was uh, just really special to watch. Yeah, I cannot imagine in today's climate that we would see a Dennis Rodman like figure doing what he does the way he does it. You know, there, there were a lot of stories that were uh, a little bit eye opening and surprising during that. Um, but I think that, you know, they had leadership on that team in the locker room, but then they also Obviously, you know, Coach Jackson knew what he, um, what Dennis needed to be successful. The way that the NBA was operating at the time, the way they would, you know, let basically bet it all on Mike to expand the brand of the league. And I think, I think the business side of it was most uh, interesting to me. I think it's, it's definitely can be a misconception that everything is always smooth, you know, and that, but sometimes if it's not smooth, you know, sometimes that's okay too. You find you have highly competitive people who, you know, want to win. But at the end of the day, if you can all come together and focus on the ultimate goal, and that's, you know, trying to become a championship caliber team. When we go to the United Center, I still, you know, as soon as they start, start playing, you know, the, the intro music, you know, brings you back to childhood. Those things are things that, that change the way, um, you know, game ops may be done as well. Interesting to get his take on all of this. I mean, seeing the NBA from his perspective, inside it, outside of it, as a coach, as a kid, all of that. And of course, he's not too far off from our age as well. So also all. hearing that he was a fan just like us uh, puts him on our level. That was pretty neat to hear too. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Norman. Up next.